Now, this is a strange beer review because I actually did some research on this beer after I poured it. Um, this is a Seaf beer from the Antwerp Brew Company. Now, Seaf beer apparently is a historical Belgian beer that had fallen out of favour and um, pretty much there was no living examples. Uh, it was barley, buckwheat, oats and wheat with Belgian hops and a special yeast. And so some bloke, can't remember his name, off the top of my head, um, he revived it. He studied studied all he could about it and found a 90 year old brewer that still had a recipe because there were no recipes anywhere. And then um, they found a yeast from the, from the yeast laboratory in Antwerp there, I think, somewhere, anyway. So, Seaf beer used to be an actual style. So, it's a cloudy blonde ale, which this is. Ooh, on the nose, you get uh, isoamyl acetate, which is lolly banana. You get some sort of pear. It's interesting. It's almost like a wheat beer, but not wheaty. It's bizarre. Ooh, yum. Um, by the way, it's 6.3%. I can see why this was such a popular beer back in the 1500s or whatever it was. Sweet malt up front. Um, definitely yeast driven beer. There's not much hop happening, but you've got a lot of the um, isoamyl acetate from the yeast. Not a great deal of phenols in there. It's almost um, like sort of sweet esters, a little bit of pepper like peppery fennels, but yeah, no clove or anything like that. Um, medium low bitterness, medium high carbonation, uh, sweet malt up front, fairly full body, moderately sweet finish, like plenty of flavor. It's sort of bready and wheaty and touch spicy and fruity, it's, yeah. Don't know, I'm gonna ruminate on this one and enjoy it, but I really like it.